Hi, I'm Brian Mallow, and in this video, I'm going to unbox the Space and Beyond box from Astronomy Magazine. It's actually my first unboxing video. I'm new to the genre. I'm a total virgin, so go easy on me. I mean, I've unboxed plenty of things in my time. I've taken things out of boxes. I just didn't make a video. And I kind of have mixed feelings about the whole thing, because have you even considered that maybe it's in the box for a reason? Like, maybe it should be left alone? Have you even heard the story of Pandora? And I don't mean the music streaming service. I mean the original Pandora from Greek... <laughs> I was going to say Greek pathology. From Greek mythology. That didn't end well. But this is entirely different. This is an awesome box of astronomical goodness. Um, full disclosure, Astronomy Magazine sent me a year's subscription to check out. But the only reason I'm making this video is because it turned out to be really cool. It exceeded my expectations. I didn't know what it was going to be exactly, um, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Um, the Space and Beyond box is a quarterly subscription. So every three months, you'll get a box, and it'll have five to seven items that are space and astronomy related. They tend to have a I think a retail value of about $80, but the most you'll pay is $50 per box if you pay as you go, one at a time. But if you pay for two quarters in advance, there's a discount. And if you pay for four quarters, a full year, four boxes in advance, there's another discount. And Astronomy Magazine said I could offer you a further discount if you use this coupon code. Um, you can get an additional 10% off your first box. And the coupon won't expire. So if you're watching this video in the far future, if you're a if you're an extraterrestrial archaeologist who just unearthed this video, check it out at uh, spaceandbeyondbox.com. Uh, they also are on Instagram and Facebook, just Space and Beyond Box. So I've received two boxes so far. So I thought before we open the new one, that I would do a quick run-through of what was in the first box I got last quarter. And it was so cool. Like, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't realize each box is themed. So last quarter, the theme was planetary science. And it starts with a magazine. So the magazine, Space Particles, planetary science exclusive, um, you open it up and the very First thing you see is a description of all the items. And then there are four articles, and they turn out to be really cool articles on planetary science. There's an article about Mercury, and, you know, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. I learned this. Here's a great little fact. On the side facing the sun, at high noon, it can be 800 degrees Fahrenheit on Mercury, hot enough to melt lead. And meanwhile, on the far side, aw facing away from the sun, it can be negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. How's that 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit difference from the hot and the cold sides? So, great article about Mercury. There's an article about water on Mars in the past and in the present. And it's written by Tanya Harrison. She is a really cool Martian scientist. You can interpret that how you will. And uh, I don't really know her, but I think we follow each other on Twitter, so she's super cool. There's an article about Cassini, the Cassini mission to Saturn. Spent 13 years studying Saturn and its moons. And then there's an article about the gas giants, the ice giants of uh, Uranus and Neptune. So I, I, I can't easily say Uranus. I, uh, I grew up with Uranus. <laughs> Uh, so, that's not the only reading material. So, you get the magazine, um, and then let's look at the other items. There was this book, The Planets, by Deva Sobel. Um, she's a New York Times bestseller. She wrote Longitude and Galileo's Daughter. And these are all books I was interested in, in particular this one. And uh, now I don't have to buy it. So, great book. Um, and then the other stuff are just a bunch of interesting items. There's a NASA refrigerator magnet, but it's not just a refrigerator magnet. It's... Um, it's an augmented reality device. So you can download an app to your phone and then access more information. And that's from Astro Reality. Um, there's a postcard of a galaxy. It's actually galaxy M106. It's the first galaxy that uh, was discovered to have a black hole in the center. And now we think almost all major galaxies do. And um, this is also an image that's from the book Galaxies that came out earlier this year, and it's written by David Iker, the editor-in-chief of Astronomy Magazine. So, a little postcard. 
And then there's this, it's a metal model of the Kepler spacecraft. And Kepler, of course, in keeping with the theme of planetary science, uh, was used to discover a lot of extrasolar planets, planets around other stars. So this is just really cool. Um, metal uh, model, and then there's like, oh, oh, and, and then speaking of, there's a poster, and the poster is of uh, the 14 nearest habitable planets. So the uh, habitable exoplanets um, around other stars. So very cool little information about each one. That's kind of neat. And then there's like, there is this like lollipop, but it looks like a planet. It basically, um, it looks like it's Mars. Um, if it's a planet in our solar system. And finally, maybe the coolest thing in the box is this Mars globe. And it has a lot of geographical features labeled. It also shows landing sites of the Viking One landing site, Mars Pathfinder. Um, there's Olympus Mons, this tremendous volcano. It's two and a half times taller than Mount Everest. Um, so very cool. And, and it comes with this little stand from Astronomy Magazine. And I love this. I'm going to see that 3D printed moon right there. I'm going to replace it with this Mars globe. So this, the Mars globe is going to become part of, my, part of my set. So that was last quarter's box. And so there's the box. So here is the newest box. And I haven't opened it. I don't know what the theme is. I know nothing about it. But first of all, it was so cool to see sitting on the porch. It really is. It's a great box. Um, it's got a lot of imagery and words. It's got some stuff on here that I'll let you discover for yourself. But even the box is cool. So the box is part of the box. Um, okay, so you open it up. And there on top is the magazine. Excellent. So here it is, Space Particles. And the theme is Comets asteroids and meteorites. All right. So, um, here's the descriptions of what's in here and here are the articles. So the articles are about sizing up space rocks, about near earth objects, exploring Jupiter's Trojan asteroids, um, explore the impact that killed the dinosaurs. Here's an article about the dinosaur and, uh, dinosaur killing, um, comet or asteroid, and imposters in the asteroid belt. Um, astronomers are on the hunt for comets disguising themselves as asteroids. Curious. So once again, four articles, and um, here are the descriptions of the items. So let's just see what they are. Um, hmm. This one is, this is number four, I guess. So this is, oh, a beautiful image of comet Hale-Bopp and the North American Nebula. So very cool, beautiful uh, uh, print of Comet Hale-Bopp and the North American Nebula. Uh, let's see what's now, let's see what's now, what is this? Unusual asteroids, how asteroids relate to each other. Um, it's an asteroid family diagram. So very cool informational uh, on some on asteroids. Cool. Oh, look at this. See, look at this one. A T-shirt. There's a. It's filled with this uh, shredded <laughs> nesting material. Oh my! Look at this. Oh yeah. Never forget the comet, the T-Rex. So that's awesome. And what else have we got? Ooh, what is this? Um, a 3D asteroid model set. A 3D asteroid <gasps> Oh, wow. So this has little, oh my God, this is Erkoth. This is, this is the very unusual object that um, the New Horizon space mission that launched like, I don't know, by now it's probably 12 or 13 years ago. It went by Pluto. It was the first close pass of a spacecraft by Pluto when we got all those amazing images of Pluto a couple years ago. And then it went to another object, a Kuiper Belt object 
farther out. And it's this one that turned out to be a very weird shaped, like it has two, it's two objects that came together into this one. So this is 486958 Erikoff. Um, and then these are two other completely different, and how interesting, because these are three asteroids that are nowhere near round. These are a uh, very oblong, uh, non-spherical <laughs> uh, shape. So, oh, that's that's super cool. They're, I don't know what they're made of. They, they, they almost feel like an asteroid. Ooh, okay, this is a flying asteroid floaty pen. <laughs> what is that? Fun and collectible. Send the asteroids soaring through the night sky while jotting down notes from your observing sessions. This exclusive pen from Eskison features a floating asteroid suspended in the starry sky. Perfect for writing a quick note to an astronomy-loving friend. So that's kind of cool. And what else we not? Oh, so number one. Campo del Cielo Meteorite. There's a meteorite recovered beginning in 1576, the year 1576 in Northern Argentina, the Campo del Cielo iron nickel meteorite is estimated to have fallen about 4,500 years ago. Your meteorite includes a certificate of authenticity from astronomy contributing editor, Michael Backich, displayed on your desk or bookshelf. So very cool literally from space. Um, very nice. So we got a meteorite. We got the pen. We got the t-shirt. We got the print of Comet Hale-Bopp. We got the 3D asteroid model set and the asteroid family diagram. And that's it. So that was, that's our seven articles. Uh, I mean, seven items. So um, I love it. Um, here, you know what the, the thought I had uh, with the first one is that it's definitely, it's a, it seems like a pretty good deal. I think that this is a great example of something that uh, the, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts because it's really fun to open. I feel like I kind of rushed that because I didn't want to make this video too long, but because uh, I took my time with the first one and, and uh, when I opened it and the sense of discovery and all. But the thing is, I still have, there's articles to read and stuff to play with. The t-shirt, the pen, and it's a, it's a collection of items completely different from last quarter too. Um, so there it is. Um, the box has been unboxed and, and um, I love it and I highly recommend it. Um, I think it's really fun. I mean, it could be great for kids and it could be great for adults because I like all this stuff. The Mars globe is going up on my bookshelf and uh, some of the, oh, the those little asteroids are gonna be up there as well for sure. And um, spaceandbeyondbox.com is where you can find out more and subscribe. And like I said, if you subscribe, if you pay in advance for more than one, price comes down. And if you use my discount coupon, Brian10, um, you can get another 10% off your first box. So there it is. Um, really, thank you to Astronomy Magazine for sending me these. I really like it. And um, yeah, I highly recommend it. See you next time.